Anxiety, big issue. Perfectionism, I can't say enough about that. Addiction, I'm going to go into the sleep deprivation. This is probably the last thing we'll do. Um, if you watch Orders, you got to see the end of the last season, they had me going in and sleeping in the houses. Um, that was new for me. Okay? They came to me and they said, we want you to spend the night. And I said, that's wrong. You're totally taking advantage of the order. This is like a ratings boy. And I said, there is no amount of money that I will do that for. It's wrong. And we talked for about 20 minutes, and it turns out there is an amount of money that I'm willing to <laughs> sleep on the house floor. So we worked it out. I went into it thinking this is wrong. I'll be honest, I wish I, read, I wrote my book after I spent the house. I go into it the first night. Right? My deal was, I'm gonna, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to do it the way, or I'm not going to put a bunch of suits on. I didn't put any safety gear on. I just went in as a order. I'm going to live just like she does. And she was in her bedroom. I was going to stay in the living room. And I had to find a place to stay. And it was really hard to find somewhere to even really lay down. Because there's boxes everywhere. I don't really... It's not a bed. I could see some boxes, but there were some here, some there. The lights, the sun is still up. We had put GoPro cameras, windows of GoPro, these little cameras all over the house, and they were light activated. So if something, or motion action, if something moved, the cameras would turn on. That way they could, if I'm walking around the house trying to inspect things, they would get me on camera. I didn't have a view out once the light went out. I had a little night vision camera to kind of record what I was doing, but I couldn't see, it was dark for me. And that was part of the deal. I didn't know that hoarders had to go in memory once the lights go out. It never dawned on me, I just assumed they went to bed. <laughs> yeah, they don't go to bed. So I lay down the first night, Let's see if this will work. I get in there, I looked, and it was awkward. This is gonna fall, I'm not gonna do that now. So, I'm kind of laying down, and I feel a big box up here on me. I can feel, I'm trying to settle in. Okay? And I lay in, and it's a box kind of hit me in the back here. It's not very comfortable, but I think I can lay there. And I look at my clock, it's 8 o'clock. I can still see some boxes. I'm laying down, thinking, all right, I'm just going to close my eyes. I still believe I can do this at this point. So I'm just going to close my eyes, I close my eyes. And it's starting to get pretty hot. Really quick, it's starting to get hot. And as soon as you close your eyes, you start to hear more. And I'm about six feet up. And I can hear things crinkling underneath me. I can hear, it sounds like a bag of aluminum cans, I think. I can hear some two liter bottles that are filled with air, like popping. I can, I'm assuming that's just because I'm laying down. Then I hear a little bit of scratching. That makes me nervous. Didn't see any animals. Sure, there are. I'm not, not, not naive. I've been cleaning these houses for a long time, but I can do this. It's getting really hot. Really, really hot. And look, I'm making a lot of money. It is what it is. And I just keep telling myself, I'm making a lot of money. Just get through this. And I'm not thinking about the order yet. I'm still thinking about me making a lot of money, which is problem number one. And sitting there, and now the lights are really going down. And it's, it's starting to think. I'm starting to think, well, what? Why am I here? Like, am I pouring myself out for money? Really? Am I any different than a prostitute? This might be a little wrong. I really shouldn't be doing this. And then a light over there pops on. Well, I'm not over there. Why did that light just pop on? That concerns me. Now that's all I'm thinking about. So I'm looking up. What is it? Is it a mouse? Is it a rat? Is it a dog? Is it a cat? What? is it? And then the entire pile drops about two feet. And all this stuff falls on me. I'm freaking out. It's now dark. I'm pushing it away. I don't know what's going on. I get it out of the way. I don't even care if I'm breaking her stuff anymore. Problem number two. Because all I'm thinking about is my safety now. That's it. I just want to get out of there. Get my check and get out. So I'm laying there and I smell something that doesn't smell good. I can feel that I have some type of poop on my face. It's dried up. It's either human poop or dog poop. And I don't know which. But my next move kind of depends which that is. 
So I start to roll it, trying to figure out what it is. Okay? Uh, I try to look at it and see what it is. Okay. I didn't do that. But I started to roll it to try to figure out, I'm trying to sniff it, and I'm thinking, all right, by the texture, it's got to be dog, it's not human. And then I start to think, what is wrong with me? I am rolling some type of poop on my face for money. All right? And you really start to analyze yourself. And I think, am I any different than that time my bookie beat the crap out of me for 40 grand, and I started calling around and throwing some really bad options on the table to come up with 40 grand in one night? And you really start to self-analyze yourself. And I'm thinking, man, I got kids. Like, I got a wife. I should not be in this situation at 38 years old. What is wrong with me? Why have I allowed myself to get here in my life? I should be an adult by now. I should have my shit together. What is wrong with me? And then something runs across my stomach. Exactly. What was that? What was that? And then a couple of the cameras come on. So now there's something in this room. And I'm freaking, I'm thinking, you know what? I really don't care what I'm getting paid. And by the way, all the words I'm telling you are in my head. I haven't said one word outside of my body. I'm freaking out. All right? This is really, really uncomfortable. And I'm starting to wait. Is this, I, maybe it's not a lot of money, I don't know. But then I also believe, well, are you a complete wuss if you don't finish this? Do you really want to show the world? By the way, this is going to be on national TV. Do I really want to show the world that I can't do this? A guy that I, I think I'm the smartest guy in the world. I think I can do anything. I think I invented all of this, but yet I can't make it through a night where this lady spends every night. You really start to suffer, and you're really starting to judge yourself, and you get really... Really, you just want it to go away. I just want the night to go away. The only other time I'd ever felt like that, I was calling off a wedding when I was 30, and I had no money, I had no life, and I absolutely considered suicide. I thought it was an option, because I wanted everything to go away. And this was the closest I had felt to that in my entire life. And then something else runs across me, and I feel a long, thick tail go away. Threw my hands up. I'm out, I looked at the camera, I said, I don't care, I'm out of here. I run outside, it takes me five minutes to get through the piles. I get there, look at my clock, 8.23. I made it 23 minutes. All right? Here's the problem. I had the option to go to a hotel. My hoarders don't have that option. They have to stay every single night. I thought they laid their head down, went to sleep. I used to tell them, get a good night's rest, because we're going to work hard tomorrow. That's the dumbest thing I've ever said now that I've lived that. I did try it seven more times. I never made it all the way through the night. The last time I said, don't give me a hotel option. Don't do it. i got to stay. I slept in the ditch outside. Because it was still better than having to spend the night in one of those houses. And again, I had an option. The order doesn't. Okay? You guys are knocking on these doors 20 minutes after that lady goes through that for 10 hours. Do you think you should, hey lady, how you doing? Pretty day today. Okay? It's a little different mindset now that you know what they're going through every single day.